What is the purpose of disabling HW overlays in Android devices? Hello and welcome to our deep dive into the world of Android device settings. In this video, we'll be tackling the often confusing yet important topic of disabling hardware overlays. Now, if you're wondering what a hardware overlay is and why on earth you would want to disable it, then stay tuned. What are hardware overlays? Hardware overlays, or HW overlays, are a feature of Android devices that allow certain types of graphical information to be composed using dedicated hardware, rather than using the device's main processor, CPU. This hardware-based method is typically more efficient and provides smoother visual performance. However, when a hardware overlay is used, the system has less control over individual pixels, which can lead to problems in certain scenarios, which we'll discuss next. Why would you disable HW overlays? The primary reason to disable HW overlays is to diagnose display issues. For example, if an app is not rendering properly, or the device is experiencing unexpected screen glitches, disabling hardware overlays can help identify whether the issue is related to the overlay handling. Debugging applications is another reason. Developers often disable HW overlays to force screen composition through the CPU, making it easier to debug certain types of graphical issues. Forced GPU rendering is another option in the developer settings. When you enable this, it forces screen composition to be done with the device's GPU. It's worth noting that disabling HW overlays essentially accomplishes the same thing as enabling GPU rendering, as both force the system to bypass dedicated overlay hardware. Are there any downsides to disabling HW overlays? While disabling HW overlays can be useful for debugging purposes, it is not generally recommended for regular use. Bypassing the dedicated hardware and forcing the CPU or GPU to handle screen composition can lead to increased power usage and decreased performance. In conclusion, while the average Android user likely doesn't need to worry about HW overlays, understanding what they are and why you might want to disable them can be a valuable troubleshooting tool. Remember, though, it's generally best to leave these settings alone unless you're experiencing specific issues that you're trying to diagnose. We hope this video has been informative and has helped clear up some of the mystery surrounding hardware overlays on Android devices. Thanks for watching and keep exploring your device.